Alright guys, welcome back to my second playthrough of Oracle of Seasons. We now reach the Snake's Remains. Y'all know the drill, I have a guest join me in each dungeon. My guest this time is the Paperclip Killer. What's up, man? What's up, guys? I mean, it's just the Oracle of Seasons we got right here. It's gonna be tons of fun. It is tons of fun, especially this dungeon. I like it. Oh yeah. I mean, I haven't played this game in ages, but I, I can still remember it. It was so fun. When I was a little child. Well, this dungeon I remember because, if many people have seen on my channel, I've made a replica of this dungeon on Minecraft. Oh, really? I didn't know that. No one knew that. I was the first one to do it, and, like always, since I'm not well known, not many viewers. Not that I'm complaining. Give it time and everyone will see it. It's Minecraft. Yeah, but I did that thing like six months ago. <laughs> Figure. Takes time. <laughs> Real long time. Uh, you know, it's kind of dark in here, don't you think? Yeah, it's a little bit dark. I mean, you can't see anything at all. Let's light this place up. Yeah, it opened the door. Okay, uh, let's walk over here now. Oh, the torches are shooting at me. And another thing. Snakes! At least they're not snakes on the plane. My <laughs> the compass. I like what the Almost compass. Useless items. Not in here. It actually makes a noise when there's a key in the room. It's true. I did forget about that. Did it in a Link's Awakening first, but then they decided to put it here. Thanks a lot, Nintendo and Capcom. They want to help out on the Game Boy Color games, man. Here. Hmm. Does this look suspicious to you? Just a little bit, I mean, it's just pointing to a wall. What could be there? Well, how about a hidden room? Explosions! Filled with money! Tons of little green loopies. I wish I had bought the gold joy ring, it would all be worth double. Nice. But I have, I but I have the red ring on. Double damage with the sword. Well, that's good. And with this thing, it needs it. I'm using a freaking giant toothpick. Hey, get away. Get away. You can't hurt those guys, you can only push them. No, unless you have the shield, right? You can flip them over? No, I'm no, thinking of a different shield. You're thinking of the turtle enemies. Yeah. Fall down or get blown up. You can actually hit those guys with your sword. Yeah, I can, but I don't want to risk it. And the dungeon treasure. The power bracelet. Now you can lift large objects. Just how large? Well, how about the size of these pots? And, uh, hello, guys. Those are really large pots. I mean, who ever needs a pot that as big as a person? Uh, it worked. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> there we get the I'll map. For the and there's the map. It looks just like a giant snake. I wonder why. Uh oh. I never actually noticed that. <laughs> yeah, it is like that. Oh well. Do the other dungeons do that, where it's like in the shape of... Whatever it is, title. Yeah. Yeah, this one sort of does. I didn't know that. I mean, I knew about the original Legend of Zelda. Mm, yeah, those ones had different shapes, from like a... Yeah. Eagle, to like a swastika symbol, to a moon. And then when you do the second quest, something else completely different. Yeah, I have never played the second quest of that, to be honest. I have. It's I'm sure I just played the first one because I usually die up there and I see the words of doom appear. Game over. I do not like seeing game over though. It's just so early in this game. And what are we doing outside? Um, explore it. Oh, here's a gasha seed. Well, those are always helpful, I remember. Eh, well, there's two sections of the dungeon. <laughs> That could be a little bit problematic. Well, this is the only side. Let's see. Need my bombs. Nah, I don't want any bombs from you. You sell some. Don't I remember having to so many from him when I was trying to figure out what to do. Sweet, need him. Okay, rush, otherwise the treasure chest disappears. Run, Link! Run the timer, hurry! We're on time, but we could die if we don't hurry up. And why did I do that? <laughs> I bring him up too early. 
Oh no! Get up! Oh god, try it, please, not today. No leg. Get there before it disappears, we get the key. Excellent. Oh, I have a storm over here going on. Like, it's in the midst of it, and I'm really hoping it doesn't pick up. Because I don't want it to get, like, sound on your end. Oh, uh, well, it's fine. <laughs> it wouldn't be a problem. I like yeah. thunderstorms. <laughs> I do too. Just a few days ago, we just had a lightning storm. Did anybody get hit? <laughs> Surprisingly, during one lightning storm, a house, two de two houses down from us got hit. That, oh, that's that scary. Happened, that happened long ago, and we're like, oh, thank goodness it wouldn't miss. But then again, oh, too bad for those people. Oh. Oh. <laughs> it could have been worse. Everyone would have been hit. Well, it was just them. Okay, now the stairs to the 2D section. Alright, this enemy doesn't look familiar. Oh, he doesn't look like a thwomp. Yep. Oh, and look! Thwimps! Oh! Thwamp. <laughs> 2D sections of Zelda games in the Game Boy Colors were always seemed to be the funnest for me. I never liked uh, Link's Awakening, though. Because, you know how everything's on top, your hearts and everything? I'm, yeah. I'm used to that. Link's Awakening has it on the bottom, and I don't, don't think that's a good fit. Oh well, anyway, this is Seasons. This is, this is Seasons, this is not Link's Awakening. He's already awake. He's awake and the game does take place. And it's not a dream. Spoiler! It was all a dream. Don't stand on the cracked floor. Otherwise you'll fall down. I know some people don't like talking about it, but do you ever see the actual timeline? Apparently. No, I've seen so many. Like, there was one released in the Hyrule Historia. I've heard about that. Yeah, it's only been released in Japan, but mm. apparently there's like an actual, t the actual timelines in it. Mm. It's really weird. It's like at Ocarina of Time, it splits into three. Mini boss. <laughs> this guy was always a favorite of mine. That's, ah! This is how I remember this. Oh, I fell down. Hey, smile. He was a boss in Awakening, right? I'm pretty sure he was. No, he actually tried to talk. <laughs> oh, did it matter in the end? No. Gotcha. With your eyes closed. Squinty eyes. Don't need to go through there. Takes us back to the beginning and there come bats. Many bat bat bat. Oh, yeah. Alright, we don't need the uh, power bracelet, we can just push them now. Yeah. Pretty simple. Hi, Paul's voice. Oh, these guys are annoying. Just because they kept moving. Yeah, but in this one, you can only kill them with bombs or some other item we don't have yet. So that's a secret. It's a secret to everybody. Oh. Okay, Let's there's the turntable, and <laughs> we don't need to use that yet. Instead, we go down yonder. Hey, right, Sparky. Meet Boomerang. Give me fairy. Boomerang to the face. Yep. At least it's not like a Skyrim joke that has gone way overboard. Yeah, that kind of killed it for some people. Yeah. Killed it for me, too. <laughs> oh, really? Well, I never really was interested in the beginning with Skyrim until I got it on my birthday and I've been playing it. <laughs> but I oh. just got bored of hearing it. I was like, okay, every time I say that, I'm just going to curse you well. <laughs> See, that's why I like having it for the PC, just because you can mod it to not say that. Mm. I have it for the 360. I don't think my computer's strong enough for it. Bosky! And I landed on a snake. Well, maybe you could have rode him like a horse. No, I don't think these snakes are strong enough. I don't know, I mean, they keep pushing you whenever they hit you. Well, it's not like they're as strong as an anaconda. Maybe they are. We just don't know. Okay, I need to go down. 
Excuse me, Sparky. <laughs> Move pot. Move all those pots. Move it. Move. I mean, you can't break them. Like, no. without picking them up. That's what the level 2 sword. Yeah. And I don't have that yet. Move, snake. Oh, are we already near the end? Yep. It's a very short Dang. dungeon. One thing yeah. I did with Minecraft in the dungeon is I made the whole thing out of wool. Oh, so you could just, like, light it on fire. I had that happen since I was in the caves, and every time I catch up, I'd be like, Oh god, it's on fire! No! <laughs> <laughs> and I explained all the details. I didn't put all the enemies in, I just put all the platforms. Not everything moves. Oh yeah. That's the replica. And here's our boss. The Donko. Second dungeon of the Zelda game, and it's the Dodongo. Yep. Say it ain't so. Now I touch the spike. Oh, don't touch me. Open now. Say ah. Oh. This, this guy's not too bad. No. How do you like the spike? It's like a spike bath. Oh, he's charging. Okay, come on, say all. Oh. Aww. Oh, yeah. Okay, come on. Why doesn't he breathe fire? And he does if I wait too long. Oh. I've never seen that. I'm not doing it either. Sorry, Dodongo, you're down. That's for the game. And my heart container's over here. <laughs> well, at least it wasn't on the spikes. That would suck. <laughs> He's like, a little adventure in itself. Anyway, here's our second essence. We've received the gift of time. Seeds sprout, the seasons change, with the gift of time. Second dungeon completed! Again. Ooh, my voice kinda cut out there, cause I don't know why. <laughs> don't worry about it. I, I like the gift of time, I, I like the time. Killer, would you mind reading what the Maku Tree says? Sure. Thank you, Link. I, too, received part of the gift of time. I just dreamt of school swamp out west. Something is afoot there. But I can see no more. Home. Oh, the tree just loves to sleep. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, guys, that completes the second dungeon. But it's not the last you'll see of Paperclip, either. You'll be appearing oh, yeah. with me in ages as well. Oh yeah, guys. Yeah, That'll be fun. You'll see him there. And next time, we will continue on with our quests. Second playthrough of Oracle of Seasons to be continued.